A lot of the time you will find yourself with a situation like this, which is basically just like a cube corner, right? One edge splitting in two, although a bit at an angle and not everything at 90 degrees. To make this a little more interesting, you could of course add a bevel. And while I like the bevel at the front, I don't like how rigid it looks here. All three bevels are the same and it just ends in this flat face, so I want to make this more interesting. I want to transition this bevel and wash it out, and I will do this by increasing the width of these two. However, a mesh machine actually can't work on a triangular bevel corner like this. If I want to unbevel this, for instance, it will fail due to the directions of these three bevels being ambiguous. They all split into two different directions. It's much better in general, not just in context of mesh machine, to stack your bevels. I resolve this using the quad corner tool, which turns a triangular corner into a quad corner. And now this bevel clearly only goes in this direction, right? And this one runs into this face. At this point, I can actually unbevel or unfuse these. And what I'm going to do now is increase the width of this chamfer, followed by fusing it. Same for the other one. This is much better. I like the thin bevel at the front, but the transition in the back is still very primitive and obvious. What you can do then is unfuse this, widen this section by a lot, and then fuse it again, which gives you a much softer fall off and transition. This is actually very good, but we can do even better, make it less symmetric maybe, more organic. So unfuse this again, bring this together, and slim down the chamfer again. Unfuse this as well, and then turn the corner to redirect the chamfer's flow to the side. At this point, I can change the width of this part a lot. Then again for this part too. Then pull these edges back and make sure everything looks good and nothing sticks out. I'm then just going to fuse this again. And the other one too. If you now look at this transition, to me this is much more natural, much smoother somehow, less rigid. There's some streaking here, which is a result of these long, thin faces not being perfectly planar. And you can simply loop cut to get rid of this. And look at that. Very tight in the front, very smooth in the back. Beautiful. What a difference compared to the beginning.